Thanks so much for joining us. We're going to talk to Wally Poshis, Vice President of Operations Sales of Label One, mm -hmm. located in Old Saybrook. So you wrote to me and said, oh, my company does labels. I was really intrigued about this. For 60 years, you've been printing labels. How did this get started? Whew. Uh, well, the company that I work for, Privateer Label One, um, started back in actually 1972. Label printing's been around for a long time. Sure. Uh, but it really became popular and a growing market probably in the l mid to late 80s. It really took off. Um, and labels are on pretty much everything that we go and use every day. Which we see here. Um, a as we talk, um, we're going to show some uh, printing that goes on in Old Saybrook. Here, you're printing off just, I mean, it's a big factory where all this stuff gets printed. Mm -hmm. Tell me about it's that. It's not a big factory. Okay. Um, most of what we do, we do things in a consolidated kind of way. Uh, printing itself, uh, most people are aware of offset printing. We're what's called flexographic printing. So I brought a printing plate just to show, and right. they're flexible. So they're made to wrap around the cylinder. So this is plas it's it, plastic? It's a photopolymer. It's a plastic, yes. All right, that's kind of, so it goes around? It wraps around. A, a drum? Yeah, like a, like a roller that you'd roll out pie crust with, if you would. Uh -huh. and, uh, but it has gears on it, and the gears coordinate the print to where we do the die cutting. And the die cuts, it cuts the shapes of the labels are like a rotary cookie cutter uh -huh. that also have a gear. It's like baking. It's like baking. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's, it's, it's printing to a baking tone, I guess. So uh, let's just show some of the things. So these are educational labels, and of course they just, you know, peel off. You right. know, my grandson loves stickers, so yeah. I mean, you can give him many kinds of stickers. Um, more educational things. These are for uh, beer labels? Beer labels. We All do right. several beer companies in the uh, state and then ac right. actually outside the state as well. All right. So. You can put a label on anything, right? You can put a label on anything. Uh, this is, well, we all know what this is, and Stanley is one of your... Largest customers in the state. All right. That's really cool. What yeah. else do you label for Stanley? Oh, God. They, they, not just tape measures. They have uh, power tools. They have uh, skill knives, the razor knives that you use for cutting open boxes or scoring sheetrock, all of those types of things, saws, um, pry bars. It's amazing how many different kinds of tools they have. Tell me about aerospace and how you figure into that. How does, how does that work out? Um, that's actually how our company started. Uh, we started printing uh, tapes. They're the fuel line identification tapes. So every airplane, uh, whether it's in the Navy or a Boeing um, jet or a Pratt & Whitney engine, has different types of tubes that go into it. There's fluid lines for fuel, uh, for hydraulics, for air, for water, there's all these different tubes that go all in and out. There's miles of them in a plane, and each one has to be identified. So we do different tapes that wrap around the tube, and they have different symbols and color patterns and different verbiage depending upon what it is and where it's going. So the founder started that way, started mm -hmm. the company that way, and just decided, hey, let me print something for aerospace? He was actually um, a jobber, if you would, at that time, and it was so good to him that he, he brought his first printing press and they started off with that. We still have the press oh on my the gosh. floor and we still use it every day. I would ask you to bring it in but it's pretty heavy. It is. All right, uh, <laughs> the um, gentleman from Poland was just here, mm -hmm. um, Prime Minister, I the, believe, the or the President, I'm sorry, yes. the President. What did you print for him? We printed a personalized Stanley power lock for With him. his name on it? For Stanley. They asked us if we would do it for them. Uh-huh. So well, that's exciting. It is. And they do it often for some of their employees when they're retiring or they have some special event. What is the strangest request you've gotten to print something for? Wow. I don't know. I'd have to think about that. Okay. But as you think about it, you've got labels on, um, that is some wine, I think. Yep. Yeah, we have, we do wine labels too. This okay. is pre and vineyard up in Colchester. So, so who, who would come to your company? Who's, who's the regular customer that comes to you? Anybody or big business? Um, Bigger no, business? we have, we have the wide range. Uh, Stanley's very large, BIC. Uh, we do lighter labels and pen labels for them, um, and, uh, but then we also have a cookie company, or we may have a pasta company, or... Um, so the little guy could afford you, too. Oh, absolutely. Once, once you do the plate, right, right, you're good. Right. 
And, you know, we do from high volume, where we may run millions of labels, down to uh, we may run a couple of thousand labels, or on occasions like that, we may run one label. Which you did for, for me. Thank yes. you so much. Oh, you're very welcome. It's also a green company. Tell me about that. It is a green company. We run with water-based inks, and we run with UV curable, which is ultraviolet light. Um, the water-based inks are biodegradable, so um, when we have waste ink, we mix it with sawdust and we can throw it in the landfill, it just breaks down. Mm -hmm. The UV inks, once they cure, there's no solvents in them, um, so they cure fast and clean and they're very low energy to be able to cure. How did you get with this company? What's your background? How did you end up in printing? How did I end up in printing? I had life is never a straight line, Life right? is never a straight line. <laughs> I, was an, I, was, I took architectural drafting in high school. And I got a job working as an electrical engineer draftsman. And at that same time, it was a thriving company um, down in Plainville. And suddenly, overnight, everything went from solid state to microchip. And we went from being working 75 hours a week to working maybe 30. And I was commuting too far, so I got a chance to learn printing in Willimantic, Connecticut, in a company that's no longer there. but. I started out as a press room trainee and worked my way up and um, I owned part of this company years ago and uh, I've been in it for, since 1974. Wow. What's the most interesting thing about your job as VP in sales and um, operations and whatever else that you do for Label One? Working with people, whether it's my own crew who are outstanding or my customers. Everybody's different. Everybody, you have to be able to have the sensory acuity to be able to understand what they need and how they need it. Um, there's a lot of times where customers will want to do something, but they can't afford to do it. So then we can kind of coach them and show them some different ways to get to the same end result. So in many ways, you're a mom and pop shop, even we, even we, though you work with Stanley and Bic and all, and all of that. Absolutely. Do you also do um, figure out uh, how folks can best market themselves? Because they may come to you with an idea, and you're saying, oh, that's not going to work. L let us drop something else for you. Do you um, do that? We, we do that for a few customers. Most of our customers now, because there's a lot of graphic ar artists Sure. who have taken it for school. So a lot of people have their own art that they bring to us. Uh -huh. But we can design for folks. And we also help them to tweak things. We've done a few things. We work with Mountain Dairies, one of our big customers up in uh, Mansfield. And they just changed their logo, so we help them to do that too. How interesting. All right, so as long, these are, more, these are slick, but more paper. Do you also do labels that um, are waterproof? And oh, absolutely. That? Tell me about the about scale of the labels. Um, we work with, in label printing, there's papers and plastics and foils and um, polypropylenes and polyesters and polycarbonates, and there's all these different types of materials, and all of them are rated for different needs. So for a food label, it may be a paper label that has a water-based coating that's FDA regulated. But yet for a drum label for a chemical company, it may need exterior grade types of products. There's a lot of science that goes into There's this. science that goes into it, absolutely. Um, for Stanley, they need high scuff resistance and very high-end quality to hold the colors because they're very color specific. Because uh -huh. um, people have their corporate colors and they want to make sure that every time they get that label, it looks the same as it did yesterday or a year ago. And it'll look the same in two years from so now. So the brand stays the, online. The brand stays online. Um, how do people find you? Um, well, in the past, we've had a couple of people who have worked in sales for mm -hmm. us. Um, we've gone through some changes, and we've now just launched our website, which we had had a little website, but we, it wasn't very well developed. Um, so one of, our, uh, one of our kids that works for us, my I love that one of our kids, well, because they know what they're doing. Yeah, oh, absolutely. <laughs> my operations manager, Sherry, her daughter, Katie, developed our website for us because uh -huh. she had taken design in... in Label1.com? Uh, yeah. W -W Label1 USA. USA. Dot okay. com. Yes. All right. So, yes. and can you order on there, or, or do you work with people face-to-face? -face? No, we actually work with people by email, by regular snail mail, by yeah. telephone. Um, and going to see them in person. 
Mm -hmm. um, so it's it's whichever way works best for them because a lot of people are too busy, so they'll just send an email. I need this label. Here's the artwork. I need this many, and yeah. so we work up an estimate, shoot it out to them, and and that's how it works. So it's a constantly evolving methodology to be able to keep everything together. No day's the same, right? No day's the same. So if anybody needs a label printed for anything, call up Label 1 and Wally Poshas will, will answer your phone call or your email or your text or whatever it is. Absolutely. Or Sherry will or Tim will. A mom and pop shop. Yeah. Wally, thank you so much for coming. Thank in. you very much. Appreciate it. It's a pleasure. Thank you. Yep. Bye-bye. Spend all night kissing and the bumps is right here, then who else is missing? Got a little sidetrack to find my solution and find a piece of the door, but it's also a metaphor. Need to keep on to the grocery store of my mind. Just the same time, skip right ahead to the nice ride.